Hey all, this is Mackie from VRChat, and welcome to my tutorial series on VRChat Udon. For the first episode, we'll look at setting up your project with the VRChat World SDK. Firstly, we'll look at installing Unity 2018, which is the VRChat compatible Unity version. Uh, secondly, we'll look at importing the VRChat World SDK into your project. And then finally, we'll launch your world in VRChat. So let's get started. So first thing we want to do is we want to get a Unity compatible uh, version for the VRChat SDK. So I'm just going to go type in uh, VRChat docs. And from the VRChat documentation, we're going to go over here to the currently supported Unity version. Um, at the time of this recording, um, VRChat is, uh, supports uh, Unity version 2018. So in order to um, grab this version of Unity, um, we need to get a little tool called Unity Hub. Unity Hub is software for managing multiple versions of Unity. So I'm just going to go ahead and install that on my computer. I'm going to go here and download Unity Hub. And I'm going to go click and install it. And I agree. And let's set it up in your program files. And we can click here to finish and run Unity Hub. So after installing Unity Hub, uh, we can go ahead and download the 2018 version of Unity. Uh, the VRChat docs, they have a link here that we can click on. So we're just going to click here to install the current version of Unity via Unity Hub. And we're going to go ahead and click Open Up in Unity Hub. And uh, you can just go ahead and click Install. And this will start installing the 2018 version of Unity. So after Unity 2018 has been installed, um, we can go ahead and set up a basic project. I'll go to the Projects tab. And uh, since I have two versions of Unity installed, uh, I have a little arrow here that appears. So I'm just going to hit that arrow drop down and I can select version 2018 to create my project. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this uh, VRChat demo and go ahead and create your project. So after the project's created, if everything went OK, uh, we should just get an empty scene here. Um, next step, we need to go grab the uh, VRChat SDK. So we're going to head over to VRChat.com, and we're going to go to the top right corner here to hit the Login button. And uh, if you don't have a VRChat account, you can register one here. Um, I already have a personal account, so I'm going to log into that one, hit Login. And over on the left side here, um, you can see there's a Download button. So I'm going to click on the Download button here. And uh, you'll see VR SDK3. That's what we'll be using for the tutorial. So go ahead and download the SDK3 Worlds package. So once it's finished downloading, uh, we can go ahead and click on this package here to you know, double click it to open it up. And it should start importing the assets into our Unity project. So once the package is opened, um, you'll get this menu showing you what's going to be imported in your project. Um, by default, just everything is selected. So we'll go ahead and just import everything into our project. Um, that'll import all the files. And we'll just wait till this gets imported. So once we have the files imported, um, we're going to want to go and basically set up a simple world. Um, I'm going to right click in here. And we're going to create a 3D object. We're going to create a flat plane for our world because you know a character needs somewhere to stand. Um, the second thing we need to set up here is we need to set up a spawn location for our character. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create Empty. And I'm going to rename this game object. I'm going to name this to Spawn Location. So in the Add Component menu over here, when I select Spawn Location, I'm going to click Add Component. And I'm going to want to type in VRC Scene Descriptor. And the VRC Scene Descriptor is uh, basically a script that contains the settings for your world. Um, here you can see there should be a drop down called spawns. I'm going to say we have exactly one spawn location and we're going to have one element here and I'm going to drag in the spawn location here to element zero to set this up. And the next very next thing that we want to do is uh, we want to actually log in and see if this works. So we're going to go up to the VRC SDK and we're going to go click show control panel and we're going to sign into our VRC account. And next up, we're going to go to builder. And we're going to click on force non VR mode because we don't want to boot up in uh, VR. And the next thing we're going to hit build and test. And this should launch the VR chat client. I'm going to hit go here. And you can see uh, you've basically spawned where we created the empty spawn location object. So that's all there is to it for setting up your basic world.